Okay, here's a video on stripping down and cleaning a Dyson vacuum cleaner. This is a uh, DC-59, but the V6 and all the other ones that look like this is pretty much the same principle. Okay, you saw what I did there. I'm sure you know how to take the ends off. You owned one. Okay. We'll clean this later. Got some hair in there, all dirty. Let's make sure I'm in the camera. Oh, really? Well, kind of. Right, anyway. Um, first thing I'm going to do is push this down. All the dirt comes out. Probably weren't such a good idea. And then push it down again, and this piece comes off. It's the first piece to come off. Okay. All right, now, next piece will be, uh, next we'll take this plastic bit off here. This piece here. Okay, so. I'm going to use a kitchen knife. We're going to just wedge it in there, in between, there's a rubber bit at the top there, just in the plastic bit here. And we're just going to work our way around, releasing it, it's got kind of clips on it. Get those clips off, it should just fall off. Kitchen knife, and the edges. Clips off. Forceful, but not too forceful. Come on, your bugger. There we go. That's that bit off. Okay. Some dirt in there. All coming out. Dirty, dirty. Ooh, ooh. Right. Next step is to take. Uh, what should we do next? Right, we're going to take this bit here off the front of the motor. So in here, I don't know if you can see that, in this bit here there's two white, it's like a spring clip. So you've got to push that spring clip down while pulling it out a little bit. Once you push that spring clip down, you can pull it away from itself, easing the spring clip inside. All right gets to that point it feels like it's not coming off but that's actually it off and then it is a little bit of forcing but then the motor comes away from the cleaning part okay we could take the motor battery off there's usually a screw in there uh, you undo that screw it's that it's a, a torque screw I have a torque set of screwdrivers I bought from screw fix or tool station or somewhere uh, all the different size torques in there find one that fits it, undo that screw, and then, have a look at, I think it must be that screw there, undo that screw, pull the battery down, but, but I think that's just how you take it off. All right, next is, in here, so dusty, you can't even, can't even see it, in here is torque screws, I think they're a size seven, this is a T7, 50 millimeter one. I'm gonna put it in there, see if it grabs that screw. There we are, it's got it. Then I'm gonna unscrew it. All right, that's one screw out. One torque screw. Oops, dropped it on the floor. One torque screw. Right. That's two. Two torque screws. Three. Three screws out. Four. Four screws out. Five. Okay, so there was five screws around that bit. Now we have two bits. So we have, now we have a motor. The first bit we took off, 
this bit here, very dirty. And now we still have this bit here, which we shall take apart next. That's all dust, by the way. It's not the cleanest job in the world, but we are attempting to clean it, which is the point. All right, we also have one, two, three, four, five torque screws. All right, next. Okay, so this next bit just pulls off. No screws, no nothing, just a little bit of force pulls that bit out. Should have took this out first. The normal filter comes out the top. We washed that underwater, that thing there. We're gonna wash all this underwater as well. None of it seems to have any electrics in. So we have another bit that just pulled off. So now we have more torque screws inside this bit. So we have one there. This is right inside there, the thing's magnetic. It's the same size torque screw as before. So that's one, two, uh, another one there. So dirty, it's hard to see where the torque screws are. Three, one, two, three, uh, and a fourth one there. So there's four inside this thing, this part of it. Four torque screws out. All right, it doesn't come apart yet because there's still two more torque screws just on the, on the cusp of this bit here. These are shorter, these ones. That's one. And another one there, two. Right, those two out, all the same screwdriver size. This actually comes apart now. So the top comes off, it's one individual part, all on its own. And the next part comes up, that bit there, which seems to have a sponge bush on it as well, which we'll take off. But this is, well, if we take it off, yeah, it'll go back, it's got Nice guide to going back. So we've got a sponge bush and that bit. We've got that, we've got that. Oh, we have a bit inside here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that connects to this rubber. There's a rubber bit here that looks, all right, it's fixed quite well. Okay, so then there's that bit there, which is on the inside of this bit here. And then there's this bit here. All right, there's a few rubber washers around the outsides of them, which I'm not gonna remove. Okay, so that's it in bits. Now, I'm gonna get a bucket. All right, let me take the other, let me take this apart, just to, just for the finishing of taking things apart. Get me knife, stick it in there, turn that, and it comes, and this bit comes out. Put that bit there, and then you can pull that out of the edge like that. And then we can work on cleaning that. And then, uh, so, uh, do you know what? I'm just gonna leave that at that and we'll, maybe I'll make another video on how to actually take the head apart and work with the head. Uh, I'll just give that a little clean and I'll clean the inside bit. So, uh, right, that's how it, that's it in pieces now. It's not about the battery for me. It's just about cleaning it. It's nothing wrong with my battery. So if you wanted to take the battery out, you'd undo that screw and pull the battery down, put your new battery in. All right, let me clean my uh, my work area and then I'll work on.